Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you guys how we can install Flarum in our cPanel in a root directory. Whether you are using cPanel or virtualmin or any other control panel, the procedure is going to be very similar so follow along so you'll get to know about it. First we have to download the appropriate Flarum file. My PHP version is 8.3 and so I'm going to use this. And in order to install the Flarum on our root level, we have to download the public path version, which is this. Make sure to download the correct package. Okay, now I'm going to upload this on my file manager. I have chosen the extract option. So once the upload is done, it will automatically extract the files for me. Now I'm going to select all the files and folders except the public folder and I'm going to cut this one and I'm going on the root folder which is one step above the public HTML and I'm going to make a folder name called Flarum and inside that folder I'm going to paste all of it. As you guys can see, it doesn't have a public folder yet. So now what we need to do is we have to configure it, right? So go inside the public HTML, go inside this second public folder. Now we have to copy and move these files and folders to the main public HTML. And then we can delete the unnecessary folders. Once that's done, let's configure it. Now we have to edit the index.php file. Do you remember the Flaren folder that we created and moved our scripts there? We are going to use that name inside that index.php. So make sure to use the correct name. We are actually going to use that Flaren folder's name right here. So make sure to add one slash and then add the flarum just like this. And then save this configuration and go back to the flarum folder. And here we can see the site.php. We have to edit this one as well. If you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you can see this line. There you can see an option called public. You have to add one slash and then add two dots just like that. Currently it says public, right? But we are going to change that path to public underscore HTML because it's our public HTML root folder, right? Depending on the service providers, this name could be different for you. For example, it could be www folder or hdoc folder, something like that. So make sure to enter appropriate name. For me, it's public HTML, but if it's different for you, you have to use the appropriate name here. Otherwise it won't work. Once we done that, we can just go ahead and refresh the main domain name to see the results. As you guys can see, the Flarum is loaded successfully. Now we have to fill all our credentials properly, and then we have to click the install Flarum. Although the installation is done, we are still getting this small error. In order to fix this small error, we have to go inside the Flarum folder. The installation would have created a config file. We have to edit that. There is an option for URL. You have to change that to HTTPS. Once that is done, the error will go away.
in our next video i'll also show you guys how we can install the flatrom in a shared web hosting so make sure to subscribe to our channel and i'll see you guys in the next video and bye